Well, hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Obviously, you man thought that I, man was Asha every once in a year. Asha the weekend. Asha Eid day only. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, but obviously, man's come back with another video. Just to kill it off. I like Asha every day. Soon come, fam. Soon come. And well, hello, hello to my OGs from day one. I'm doing a Snapchat Q and A. Cause obviously, been MIA for a while. <laughs> Man's not a rapper though. Wow. I've got Sana on this side. She's going to be reading out some of the questions that you man sent to me. Why have I gone hood all of a sudden? I have no idea, but you need to turn it down a bit. Wallahi, I do with it. Yeah. Because obviously I'm a good girl. I actually have a full time job. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sent me questions on Snapchat, so we're just going to kick straight into it. Yalla, Hayati. Yalla. What Somali YouTuber would you like to collab with one day, inshallah? Ah. What Somali YouTuber would I want to collab with one day? Asha every day in it. Skate! Skate! Mok Tarnold is actually proper, proper sick. Like, I want to get them drone footage, fam. He makes, he makes me feel excited. Like, wow, like, I actually want to go back home and see the motherland. Omul Khair and Miski, Ikrizi, the vloggers basically. Ikrizi is from Australia. She's so sick. Her Snapchat's actually popping. Her Snapchat is jokes. And then obviously Omul Khair and Miski, gang gang. <laughs> Why am I doing gang gang? Um, no, they're so funny. Their banter is just new level. Like, you guys should definitely check them out. And um, obviously, Prince Salad. Um, who else is there? Who else would I collab with? Rocky, Rhea. Like, she's the first person I ever collabed with on my channel, ever. So, obviously, anniversary of that, pending. Do you know what? All of them. All of them. I collab with all of them. Do you know what I want to see? I want to see a Somali, like, you know, them drama pages, YouTube drama pages. Oh my god. Drama channels. There's an idea for someone. There you go, guys. <laughs> Old people who I'm from think I'm skinny and quiet when that really ain't me and I'm trying to be more outgoing like I used to be now in uni but I feel like the same people will make me feel like I'm being fake or should the most or doing the most, what should I do? What? Just live your life man. <laughs> Good goodness man, just live your life. Why do you need to be hype 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 for somebody else? Just live your life, just if you're quiet. The thing is, yeah, here's my thing, yeah. Your true character, your true personality will only come out when you're with people that you genuinely like or people that genuinely make you feel comfortable enough to show that, to express yourself basically, yeah? So if you're around people that maybe you're a bit introverted when you're around them, then just allow it in, not by force, like just, maybe just dead it, like it's okay. Like I'm only ever myself when I'm around Sana or Khadija or my besties, like from day one, like Rabia, like you might obviously know yourselves in it, yeah? But around other people well i'm just, i'm so quiet i'm so chill like you never think that i am do you know what i mean you never think that i'm quite bubbly or like i like to banter because i don't know you and like or i don't feel there's been people that i know that i've known for time and i won't even like i won't even chat to you like you would never know my full personality so it's fine it's not my full spine like if you don't like do you know what i mean am i making sense mm -hmm. that's it do you fab do you that's it when are you coming back to tz Waku Miss Sana. Oh, you actually spoke so Hulu. That's actually so Hulu. <laughs> you know Sana means a lot in oh, Hulu. It's a lot. a lot, isn't it? <laughs> God. December, hopefully, inshallah. I don't want to say it, but yeah, December. What is one valuable lesson you learnt? That's a deep one. Um, life is still a lesson, isn't it? Man's not dismissed. Life is only as hard as you make it. And if you are going through some shit, or if your friends are like chatting shit to you, like if you lost your friends, if you failed your exams, if you didn't get the job that you wanted, like move onwards and upward. Like it's not that deep. Like, like I don't. Maybe it's just because of the way that I am. But wallah, Malik, it's not that deep. Say, it's okay. Say you're going through some shit, yeah. In that time, you think, oh my days, this is the worst and it can ever happen. Like, I don't know why this is happening to me. Like, you're just going through a really shit time. You are in full control of how that situation pans out moving moving forward. If you want that to completely consume you, it will. If you don't, then it won't. Like this is maybe that's just because of the way that I am. Alhamdulillah, like I've got that sort of emotional intelligence to just get over shit really quickly. Or maybe I'm just cold, I don't know. I'm quite a genuinely like happy person and like I'm quite bubbly and like and all the rest of it, but I've only managed to get to this point because of the way that I view life, I think I think things that if something's meant to, if something happens, it's because it was meant to happen, and like you should just take it with a pinch of salt and move on. Like say Alhamdulillah for the loss and keep it moving. <laughs> Did you just that? Yeah. Wow. Scariest and funniest memory. Oh my days! I swear to God, yeah. This story. How did that come to your head so quick? 
Because I know it. I know it, Sana. How can I forget? It's the most traumatic shit I've ever been through in my entire life. Okay, here's the settings. I'm in Turkey. Me and my friends. Graduate from uni. Excited. Holiday. Bash it out. Yes. And we're like, oh my god, yeah. Let's go and celebrate. We go to Turkey. Like, we were just so excited. We were there for a whole week. We managed to get a really good deal. We were staying at some nice hotel. All inclusive. How was this? The melanin. Everything was shining. The sun was here. I was there. I finished my... Just everything was... I'm just happy. All independent. At some uni. That's just the settings. Jolly jolly happy happy, yeah. So, we get to Turkey. We're there for a couple of days and then we're doing so many like different activities and one of the things that we were looking forward to the most what they called again them safaris but it's quad bike quad bike safari yeah so we're in and going in and out of mountains that month i was so excited yeah we were taught literally two seconds when we got there yeah the guy that came <laughs> i should have known it was going to be some shit because mine came out in the vest <laughs> yeah and his vest was stuffed into his jeans i should have known this was going to be some bullshit yeah so he comes out and he goes, you know how to ride bike? I was like, yeah, he goes, okay, accelerator, brake. <laughs> that was so safe. I was separate from my friends, yeah. They were near the back and I was right the front. It's been maybe like half an hour. I'm just following the guy that's in front of me. So we're just going in and out. Like, it was just so nice. The settings were mad. But we never had no health and safety, like, um, breakdown. We didn't get given any. I don't remember getting given helmets. Wallah, I think I was just there. Maybe we did, but I don't remember helmets yet. Like, I was just, I was just happy to be there. Like, I was wearing a white t-shirt and like some light blue jeans. <laughs> on the way back, and we were on this main road, and when I explain to you, like, this is the main road, yeah. There's cars going at mad speed, like, I want to say, like, I want to say it was a highway. That's how it felt, yeah. It was a highway, and we were on, we were on a cliff, yeah. So on this side, it's just bare grass and water. That's it, just jungle, yeah. So we're going, 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 yeah. And then out of nowhere, I don't know what happened, well I think it's because I was going, we were all going really fast. Basically I fell in it, yeah. I went like this by accident, my quad bike was just flying. So this is the road, yeah, and this is the cliff. My quad bike was just like doing this. I was in the air, yeah. And it all happened so quickly, I was in the air. All you hear me saying is, la -i -la -i -la -i -la. to say my shahada because I thought I was dying yeah all I hear basically I was in like mad shock yeah because where I landed I landed in a bush so I'm like this yeah, in the bush and I can't move I can't move because I was like I broke my spine in my, in my mind I was like I was disabled now so in my in my mind I was like, well like that's it, I'm disabled so I'm like this I'm like this is this is how they found me wall and no like I was like this. So then I'm just obviously sat at this bare car, bare quiet. All I can hear was Huda going, learn, learn and like there were so many guys that were trying to stop Huda because she was ready to run down the cliff and obviously it's dangerous, yeah. So then the guy the guys they come down, like everyone's like <laughs> I'm just mounted. I'm just Man's chilling, yeah. You're okay. They try to touch me, and then basically, because I, I have acute scoliosis in the first place already, so that means that my spine is a bit. My spine is just doing this, yeah. And they come down and try to try pick me up, and then because my back is like. My back, my back is just locked, yeah. They come, and then like, all I just feel the sharp pain, and I was like, nah, allow it, allow it, allow it. So I got up, yeah, and then like, my, obviously, my whole clothes are ruined, everything, yeah, and then. This is the this is definitely the dramatic bit. The dramatic bit is this. Yeah. They were like, I was like, oh no no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I said thank you to all the guys that obviously helped me because they like they helped pick me up and everything, get me out of the bush. So then I got out and I was at the top of the I was at the mountain again, yeah. And I was like, oh sorry, it's fine. I can go back on my my um my quad bike and they're like, no no no, you're not you're not. So I was like, okay cool. So I had to get on the back of the motorbike of the guy in the vest, <laughs> homeboy in the vest, like. I, do you know what, yeah, the way that I was holding on to this guy, that I couldn't find anywhere to hold on to you, but also I was still quite, I just the whole situation just made me a bit more nervous and I was still shaking, so I had to just obviously hold on to something that made me feel a bit more secure, so then, just, I just had to, man just had to reach out, we should have just done the nikah right there and then because it was a bit much, yeah, that is the most traumatic story, like, and to this day, like, this is why I'm so nervous to drive, this is why I get nervous when I'm in a car and, like, the windows are down and I just hear the noise, man gets nervous, like, I can't even ride a bike, that's how deep it is, but I was just thinking about the time I fell in the bush in Turkey. <laughs> okay, safe sign up. Next done, question. Yeah? You sure you're done? I feel like there's a bit more details missing. Alright. 
first off, I'm like one of your biggest fans ever. Okay. Like, okay. But I recently started university and I have no idea what to pursue. What do you think I should do to oh. go about making my choice? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, I don't know. Where's all the pressure on me? <laughs> If, when you're when you're doing something, what is it that you're thinking about? That's what you should be doing with your life. Okay, this is how you do it, guys. Yeah, I think I've unlocked it. Think of three words, yeah, and these three words will be the values that you have as a person in whatever it is that you do in your life. Yeah. So, for example, one of my values is purpose. Whatever I do in my life, no matter what it is, it has to have purpose. I need to revisit my values here, but one of them is change. Um, is what I'm doing going to change something? Is there going to be a difference? Will I have made a like my footprint in the world, like will I have done something to change either a mindset? So once you think of your values and only narrow it down to three different values that you have, um, it means that you don't feel like pressure to do one specific thing or to have one specific career. So that that then means that you could, you've opened yourself up, up a little bit. I can't tell you what to do with your life and I can't tell you what degree it is that you guys need to do or what sort of thing that you need to pursue, but just start thinking about what it is that you want to do with your life and not think of it as an occupation wise, just like, what do I want to do? When, if I die tomorrow, what, what will my footprint be? What would I have done, basically? So if you're talking to a boy and his friend lies about him being a fuckboy, because his friend wants to be with you, what would you do? I can't relate. <laughs> so there's three people involved in the situation, yeah? yeah? This is her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is her, yeah? <laughs> These fuckboys are short, I can't lie. <laughs> Let's say this is her, because <laughs> these two do. <laughs> So this is, this is the guy that she likes the tall one with the beard. <laughs> wow. This other guy is saying, oh my god, no, he's a fuckboy, allow him, like, Maria, leave it, did it, yeah? And she's, so then she finds out, yeah, yeah, and she's like, oh my god, I can't believe he said that, da, 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 yeah? <laughs> So she's asking, should I tell the tall guy with the beard, yeah. often, <laughs> that sh that he's been saying shit about him, yeah. or should she just talk talk to him like this, yeah, yeah, and then just be like yeah 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 to him basically, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's what she's. I think that's what she yeah, meant. So. I think you should just talk to him and just allow the beef, like allow just just whatever. If someone, I I don't know. I feel like people like that who are meddlers, they're doing it obviously to get some sort of reaction or to get some sort of like. They like they like they want to cause a rift or or a bit of drama or to stop something so if you just carry on about your life ignore it like okay roll safe yeah just carry on talking to her it's that you're talking but obviously you didn't hear that from me because <laughs> that's her arm do you know what yes Anna? i was having this conversation with someone recently yeah would you ever have a group chat with the guy that you like and your dad and then so then whenever he wants to message you he just messages you in the group chat yeah but obviously there'll be a separate conversation <laughs> No, but you keep it a halal, right? Yeah, but you can also keep a halal though. It's just up to you, innit? It's up to you, fam, innit? Yeah, you do you, fam, you do you. Just carry on about your day. Don't, I think in any situation, don't ever listen to outside sources unless you've been given a reason to believe that. Unless you've been given a reason to listen to them, then just have tunnel vision when it comes to things like this. Um, the worst thing is to like sort of doubt someone, especially when they've done absolutely nothing wrong and it's just other people trying to meddle because they're lonely. Lonely, I am so lonely, I need the next question. <laughs> what are you doing education and job wise? Do you go uni or work? Oh, man's old, you know. Um, <laughs> I finished uni ages ago. I'm 24 years old, for those of you that don't know. Um, Education wise, I studied journalism with English language and linguistics at university level. So I'm a broadcast journalist, freelance, but I do that as freelance. Um, but I also do like a lot of creative sort of work on the side. And then um, now I'm taking like all this blogger stuff a bit more seriously now as well. So I have to start posting on a regular basis. And that's about it, it. What's my favourite song? Boring. Shall I sing it? No. Oh. You're on your deathbed. Allah. No, I don't want to say shit. <laughs> hold on, like hold on. Oh, you're on your no, deathbed. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen. I'm so sorry. No. It's not a habit. No, it is. It's, it's not it is, a habit. It is. It is. You're on your deathbed. Bless Allah. Yeah? And um, you can say one thing <laughs> to someone younger than you mm -hmm. as like a life lesson. What would it be? Man, to be so dead. It's gonna be so dead, Salah. Pray, innit? 
make sure your salah giving is on point. Like it is significant, so I say, but like as a Muslim, that's what I should always be telling people anyway. Not always, but like sometimes a bit. <laughs> think of someone in your life that you think like has some sort of gift that you benefit of. If I don't say her name, Rupert stuff. I can't, I think we all know who it is now. <laughs> Khadija, Khadija, you know, you know, like you're my. Aww. You're. I don't know. Is she like? It's weird because like we've had this conversation before, when we sort of spoke about. Like, you know when you, you, like, Islamically speaking, they say that your souls have met <clears throat> wherever it is that souls used to be before. Like, Thija and I have that weird connection. Like, we clicked from the first time we ever met, and I've, I haven't even known the girl for very long. I've known her for, like, what, three or four years? But she's honestly, like, become... It's weird, like, it's just, it's weird. Like, I just, I love the girl so much, wallah. I don't know why I weak, that's very sexual. <laughs> <laughs> What's one thing... Yeah, that you used to, that used to be one of your weaknesses that is now you could say your strengths or that like you have progressed in something that you you were having a really big character that was a weakness for me because I am quite outspoken because alhamdulillah like growing up I've always been like confident you know those kids where it's like they're just vibrant and I think t for me that was my downfall in school because you end up like people don't really take you that seriously. If that makes sense, you're borderline class clown. Like growing up, I think I, I do use it to my advantage. The fact that I do stand up from a crowd, yeah, I am memorable. I people like enjoy my company. People can get along with me really easily. It's a strength, one hundred percent. But growing up, I think it was definitely a weakness because I think I played the fool sometimes, um, and that obviously wasn't helpful. What's the most shambat thing you've ever done? Climb a mountain. <laughs> well, not, like I haven't cried in, in a very very long time. When we came down from that mountain, <laughs> best believe, <laughs> found people had to go get water bottles underneath my eyes. <laughs> like that's how deep it was. I cried. I said to Sana so many times, "Let's just not climb the mountain and pretend that we did. Let's just go <laughs> climb up the mountain and climb up a hill and haze." What's your biggest achievement so far to date? This channel, hmm. because of things like the doors that it's opened up for me. I don't think I've ever like really talked about what YouTube has done for me outside of YouTube, even though I don't really like upload, I still use it, wallah. <laughs> I still talk about this, about this channel. Um, the doors that's managed to open up for me, like I've, I've gotten jobs just because of YouTube, but also it's connected me to a hell of a lot of people. Like, you guys don't understand, like, I think a lot of people think that this whole YouTube thing is like, I'm like, oh my days, I can't believe you're on YouTube, you'll never get married. The people that I speak to on a regular basis on Snapchat, on Insta DM, on Twitter, people that message me privately, people that message me openly. It's so cute, the connection that we can have. It's such a it's such a nice thing to know that. Like the other day, let me let me play you guys a Snapchat voice note that someone sent me if I even remember bloody hell. I just want you guys to listen. Sat in it like somewhere by yourself, not knowing, oblivious to what's happening. And on the other side of the world so you might be make, making someone else smile through your videos. So just saying, keep it up, keep making people smile, make yourself smile, make yourself happy, and may Allah give you back the same kind of uh, laughter that you give of this unintentionally, like you don't know, but may Allah give, give that to you as well. I mean, all right, then over and out, that's it for me. Bye bye, love you. How Aww. sweet is that? Honestly, like yes. I get messages like that all the time and I think people don't actually realise like how important it is to see other women who are of colour or other women who are hijabis that look like you, that represent you, that are relatable, that make you happy, that make you smile. Like well, like I feel like there's a purpose to it. Like I I love it. I think that's such a sweet thing to have done. So I'm gonna ask you a quick question, yeah? Oh quick fire like, questions. Yeah, and then you have to just answer quickly. Okay? Favourite drink? Liquor safe. No, that's a liar! <laughs> <laughs> it's the first name of this my food. This is a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Favourite crisp? I'm very salty. Are you mad? Gang, 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 gang. gang. <laughs> <I'm> very salty. <laughs> Favourite chocolate? Dairy milk, plain. Favourite country in the world that you've been to? Favourite country in the world that you've been to? Wow. Oman. Favourite kind of YouTube content that you watch yourself? Vlogs. Oh, and like rap videos as well. Favorite YouTuber? Sana Sino, I don't know. What does the word chambak mean? 
It means everything but also it means nothing. Okay, favorite singer. No, I'm actually a I'm actually a Banyan singer, Sana, honestly. Alright, this video is cancelled now. Sana, Sana. If you had my love and I give you no much of us, would you lie to me? <laughs> and tell me, baby. I feel like I should just cancel this Thank right you now. Do that. Favorite quote? And we created you in pairs. <laughs> Somali bridal. <laughs> my feature, I'm coming for you. I hope you guys did like this video. It's a bit different, obviously, man, by myself and that in this square box and thing. Put Sorry. away the gun for you, isn't it? I don't know why they keep coming up, Sana. <laughs> I don't We're not know. in America, yeah? Even when you think about the area that I live in, there's no <laughs> need for this. Honestly, there's no need for it. Again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I think I should make a song. Like, share, subscribe. Back to YouTube, that's your everyday is uploading again. No? No. We'll work on it, we'll work on it. Don't worry, guys. See you guys later. It's gonna happen. My hands are just oily. We're recording. What are you might say? Alright, this video is cancelled. Cancelled. I'm not like a racket to make a racket. Oh, wow. I can't fix this. Mine's too much. <laughs>